Manhunt Episode 5 saw many of the primary characters involved in the hunt and capture of John Wilkes Booth moving into position for the end of the chase, and in doing so, historical facts were occasionally abandoned in favor of a more engaging and exciting narrative. While Episode 4 focused on the conspiracy behind the assassination, Manhunt Episode 5 featured a new villain in the form of President Andrew Johnson and his plans for reconstruction. The Apple TV Plus drama stuck fairly close to the truth regarding the final stages of the hunt for Booth, although there were some slight inconsistencies. Manhunt Episode 5 stuck to the facts when it came to the most significant elements of the socio-political climate in post-Civil War America, but it played fast and loose with the timeline. It's been well established at this point that many of the non-Booth-related events depicted in Manhunt didn't actually occur in the 12-day period in which he was on the run. However, each of them is a direct consequence of Booth's assassination of Abraham Lincoln, so comparing them directly using Tobias Menzies' Edwin Stanton as a conduit creates a picture of the greater implications of America's most infamous murder. John Wilkes Booth wasn't confronted by Confederate soldiers returning home. The incident is a good depiction of how Booth was perceived. Anthony Boyle as John Wilkes Booth is caught in a lie by Confederate soldiers. Many of the interactions that John Wilkes Booth has in Manhunt are fabricated, simply because there are no witnesses to what actually occurred on his journey after he assassinated Lincoln. That was the case in Manhunt Episode 5, in which Booth was shown impersonating a Confederate soldier and getting caught lying to actual Confederate soldiers trying to make their way home from the final battle of the Civil War. In reality, there is no way to know if this interaction happened at all, but it seems highly unlikely that if it did, it unfolded as it's shown in Episode 5. Caught in a lie, Booth revealed his identity to the tired and wounded Confederate soldiers, clearly expecting to be embraced as the hero he envisioned himself to be. In fact, the opposite happened, Booth was literally spit on for his cowardly murder and for impersonating a soldier, having not earned any true honor on a battlefield. It's an important scene, as it's the first notion Booth gets that he is viewed not as a hero, but as a despicable villain, even by those who fought for the same side as him. 7. Special Field Order 15 Unfolded Differently The origin of the order was shifted a bit to align with the show's narrative. General William Tecumseh Sherman confers with Edwin Stanton in Manhunt. Manhunt Episode 5 provided a glimpse at one of Lincoln's most important objectives coming out of the Civil War, the reintegration of newly freed black Americans into society. Edwin Stanton is shown attempting to maintain Lincoln's vision for reconstruction throughout Manhunt, and Episode 5 contains the best example of how this was supposed to play out. His vision never came to be, and the effects have persisted in America for far more than a century.